Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10 Beta 5. This came in at 352.7 megabytes for my iPhone 6S Plus. It can vary depending on your device. Let's take a look at the version number, and this one you'll see is 14A5335B. So let me go ahead and go back home here, and let's talk about what's new. So one of the main things that's new is they've changed the lock sound. So when you have the volume on and you lock the phone, it has a different sound. Let me bring it up to the microphone so you hopefully can hear this. You do it one more time. Hopefully you could hear that sound. I'm not real crazy about it. I've seen some people on Twitter say they actually kind of like it. I prefer the old sound better, but let me know what you think in the comments below. The new output icon or the output icon is new, meaning when you want to share your music or something like that, when we're in music, this little icon here is brand new. And this is just sharing to the devices in my house. That's a new thing. Backgrounds for your third party widgets are different now. So in the widgets here, when you slide left, you have new backgrounds, meaning they're transparent when it comes to third party apps. When you go to the Apple apps or Apple Siri suggestions, for example, it's still got the translucent or slightly transparent white background. So that's a little bit different. And the next thing is you can now download an app with Touch ID when you reboot. So if you reboot, you touch Touch ID, you no longer have to log back in over and over and over, which is going to be a really nice change. They've also changed Control Center. And Control Center here, let me slide left and right. They've changed it more for music. Let's see if we can move this here. But right here, you'll see that the box is a little bit different. And it's just a little nicer looking, I think. Now the widget panel, when you slide to the left again here, it displays the actual date on all devices. It didn't do that all the time previously for me. I know some of you said just swipe right, left or right or whatever. It worked on my home screen. It didn't work on this screen for some reason. So now it should work on all the different devices. Also, if you're familiar with the home section that you had in settings on the iPhone before, that's gone. That's only on the iPad now. So under settings, there's a home setting that's actually disappeared. So those are actually the known physical changes that they've made, but there's also quite a few bug fixes that they've made. So the iPhone 6 and 6S should now work with the battery case, Apple's battery case, without crashing or having issues. They also have made it so they've wiped all the information for photos, not your photos, but if you use the new features with photos, face recognition, things like that, you'll have to reprocess them. And that's done when you plug the device in, so not a big deal there. They also have updated it so it works a little bit better with accessories. The App Store works a little bit better. Apple TV doesn't crash when you're setting it up. Uh, some third-party apps can now play music a little bit better without crashing. They've fixed some Bluetooth, some messages with photo thumbnails. They've also fixed some phone issues and wallet issues. In fact, they've had one full page in their notes of fixes and seven pages of known bugs. So there's still quite a few bugs to work out and they're going to continue to do that. So hopefully those will be fixed sooner rather than later. But that's pretty much it for this particular update. They keep working on it. There'll probably be one more or two more betas before the final release that comes out probably in September with the new iPhone. So we're not really sure exactly, but maybe in a couple of weeks we'll have a gold master or another beta and then a gold master, which is the final before public release. So at this point, there's still bugs, like I said, with performance, FaceTime, photos, notes, Safari, Siri, all sorts of things. Those are just a few to mention so if you're still weary about using it, you may want to hold off, but it does feel a lot, lot faster. It feels much quicker. Hard to say about battery life. On Beta 4, I actually had pretty good battery life, but it's been pretty good. But if you found anything I haven't mentioned, please let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. And if you like this wallpaper, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Thanks to Cameron and Connor who are always suggesting good wallpapers. I really appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.